I got up at 4.30. Just for this. I've been thinking about it, so I just couldn't. I just had to get it out. I've done a lot of things for free in my career. And ultimately, when, it, when I do things for free, it boils down to, do I believe in your product? And do I believe in you? My music has value, but some things are bigger than me. Some things are bigger than my need to profit, so on and so forth. I was approached recently for an indie film and me having gone through this process before, I assume they have a budget, right? I assume they, they have funding, they have uh, a way to compensate people that are affiliated with their production. And so they wanted to use one of my songs. We've gone through the process via email and it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving them publishing information, so on and so forth, but they send the contract through or the sync agreement through and in these agreements, there's a space for compensation. So I'm reading through that paragraph and I'm like, zero dollars. I mean, like, look, I'm used to seeing a dollar amount there, right? So when I see zero, it's like, whoa, like we didn't talk about that at any point before now. You didn't make it like clear that you wanted to do this for free or that it was just an exposure play. So, you know, in my eyes, it makes me assume that you thought I was just like a, a thirsty up and coming artist that can't wait to uh, come up with y'all, you know what I'm saying? And, and that would be all well and good if you weren't paying the other members of your production. One thing you gotta know about me is that I pay everybody. Everybody who's ever been affiliated with my productions, my events, my concerts, everybody in the room is getting paid by me and that's day job money. I didn't like do fundraisers to get this money up and pay everybody. No, I work for it. So I, I can't really, like there's a disconnect for me when it comes to hiring people to do something or be part of what you're doing in any kind of significant way and not pay them. Like that doesn't, those, those dots don't connect for me. And so it was a principal thing. Um, I, politely, I politely asked if I could be compensated for my work and I listed out the productions I've been involved with before and they're big, like I'm not gonna name drop here either. I don't really have to, it's in, my, it's in my bio and you can Google me. So if you're asking me to do something without compensation, you gotta have a good reason. I might say yes, but if you don't bring it up and we don't talk about it and it comes as a surprise, the answer's definitely gonna be no. Um, I'm trying to make music for a living. That is my goal. Like, let's not get it twisted. So if you're gonna approach somebody who's goal is to make music professionally and already does it for other major clients and international clients and everything else we got going on. I'm running a label right now. Like I, we don't have time for that. So I think it says a lot about your production that you move through all those stages and you assume you can get free music to tie up your production in a nice little bow as if, you know, we're just uh, spice instead of a main ingredient. Yeah, man. Cut the check. <laughs>